my mail, it never fails. I got mail. So I got this Canadian thing, and it was the hardest thing to open I've probably ever seen, but I got a money book from my new Canadian friend, um, Miss Gold. Uh, and she messaged me to make sure I got it. And the only thing I hate is that she had to spend almost twenty dollars to send me this. But thank you very, very much because it's a budget book, and I love budget books. And this lady looks kind of like she could be my mom. Do, do you see the resemblance? And um, I've never heard of her before. Have you heard of Gail Vax Oxlade? Vaz Oxlade? Because I haven't. It says she's the host of Princess and Tell Debt to Us Part, which do not... Well, Tell Debt to Us Part sounds like like a wedding money book. I don't know what Princess sounds like. Go Canada. Yeah, oh, it says it's only offered in Canada. So there's no U.S. price on here. So maybe that's why I haven't heard her. But it says rule your money or your money will rule you. And I cannot stink and wait to read this book. And I will give a review on it. I love money books and new books. And this smells fantastic. And this lady looks like my mom or an aunt or something. So I, I don't know why. I think we're going to get along. What do you think? Wait, yeah. Curly hair. <laughs> so uh, you guys are going to see this again because when I finish it, I'm going to review it. And I'm very excited. Thank you very, very much, Miss Gold, for sending it to me. I so appreciate it. If you guys ever want to send me money books to review, um, I'll totally do that. Alright, I also got a postcard from Germany and it says Fraulicht Wechschnexten, which I just mutilated the German language enough so that probably someone's going to come after me, but it has little trees and it's very festive. I like it very much. Um, and this is from Miriam. Her uh, YouTube handle is Yes to Less, so I recognize that name. And uh, she says, Has a very, "Have a very merry, budget-friendly Christmas," and I like it. And there's a there's a cool post postmark on it of a of a building that looks very curvature-y. So I think I'm gonna use that as my bookmark in here. <laughs> Or I'll hang it up. I don't know. Alright, and I also got this from Linda Valdez in Sacramento, California. Thank you, Linda. Let's see what it is. I, um, I sliced the end, but I haven't actually opened it yet. But I've been jiggling it. And I'm um, very excited about it. And the first thing in here... I don't know what this is. Ooh, it's nail polish in a very pretty burgundy color. Thank you. I may use that next because these are starting to chip. Um, thank you. That's so cool. And then, oh, eyeshadow. And this is the stuff I like to use, the Physician's Formula. Those are very pretty colors. You know, I've been, um, I've been wanting like a green palette. I like that. Thank you so much. Oh, a card. Card, card. <laughs> it was hidden by the makeup. Alright. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, Linda. Uh, dear Sarah, SP, yes, my name has an H on it. <laughs> Sarah with an H. Um, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you and your family. May your Christmas in 2016 be awesome. Thanks for your videos. I highly enjoy them. Hi, Rory. Gilmore Girls is my favorite show of all time. Rory, come here. Come here. Come here. Say hi, Linda. Come here. Come here. Rory. Come here. Rory. Come here. Come here. For anyone who thinks my dog listens to me. And she's gone. Uh, <laughs> and she said she thinks we'd be great friends if I lived closer. Um, even though she's much older than me, I bet we could be friends too. This is so sweet of you. Um, oh, she sent me some little Essie nail strips. That one's really pretty. It's like laser lace cut. And I've used these before. They kind of look like band-aids, but they look cool on. 
there's another one. Oh, and purple lace. Cool. I'll be trying these. Oh, I totally needed mascara. I don't know how you knew that I needed mascara, but I needed some. Thank you. <laughs> Mine's gotten really old. Shake more out. And then, oh, I'll use these. I like these. I love me some clips and some lip balm and a, uh, ooh, lip crayon. I like this color. You can't really see it, but it's like kind of an orangey. And I think that suits me. And, ooh, blush bronzer. Thank you. Wow. It just keeps coming. This is some really purple lipstick. But I'm going to try to rock it. Maybe it doesn't, maybe it's like my orange lipstick from the Dollar Tree last week where it, do, it goes on kind of sheerish. Oh, and two more. Oh, these are really pretty. This is like a purple and a turquoise. And those are my colors, man. And this, and this brown, purple. You went and picked out stuff just for me. Thank you so much. That is so sweet. I don't need to buy makeup now. Thank you so much. That is so kind, Linda. Yeah, okay. I got it all. It, it just kept going forever. So, oh, I'm just going to go play with this now. I'm actually motivated to do my makeup tomorrow, and it's Friday. <laughs> I'll see you later. Thank you again, all of you that have sent stuff to the P.O. boxes. It just... Oh, I just, P.O. Box, singular. It just, I love seeing mail in there. Going to the post office is my favorite thing. And I hated going to the post office like any time in my life before this. So I just, I love hearing from you guys and seeing your cards. And your gifts are so unnecessary, but so sweet. And I promise I love them and I use them. And I make all my friends jealous. So I'll see you soon. Bye. Hey, I just went to the post office and I had this package waiting for me uh, with a card in it. That's sweet. And, the, and I like how she decorated this too. And it is from Deed Whim 75. Uh, and she said she thought my she thought she would start New Year off my New Year off with a surprise. Um, and she made me something, and she also sent me five dollars. Thank you so much to have a cuppa. <laughs> uh, and there's really pretty paper in it, and I only glance at it, but she sent me a little tissue holder that's very sparkly. Isn't that sweet? And <laughs> she monogrammed a towel for me with VG. And I don't, I don't know how you knew this or not, but I only have one, like, hand towel. And so, now I have three. And, she, and the other one says, Budget Girl, and has some little flowers on it. And these are so soft and nice, and I love them. They're gorgeous. Oh, there's something in here I didn't even see. Oh, oh, I didn't see this when I glanced inside. She made a little felt toy for Rory. <gasps> Rory is going to love this. Oh, I can't wait to give this to her. She's going to love this. And this is, this really confused me though. I opened this while I was in the line. I just sent a couple birthday cards at the post office. And um, I, I now have monogrammed toilet paper. I, I'm not really sure how you monogram toilet paper. And I'm pretty sure this shouldn't be flush, so maybe this is just, like, decorative? I'm... I've never seen this before in my life. Uh, thank you? <laughs> Someone please tell me what you're supposed to do with monogrammed toilet paper. I, this is just supposed to be a decoration, right? You're... I kind of want to, like, take the monogram off and put it on something else, but it's, it's toilet paper. How did you do that? I'm so... Am I not getting something about this that everyone else in the universe knows? But, uh, thank you so much. I guess this will just be decorative unless someone else tells me what I'm supposed to do with it. And I will certainly use the towels 
though, which are gorgeous. And I, I'm guessing you embroidered these yourself. This one is so pretty. It's like multiple hues of purple and there's this nice little thing. And then this one has those pretty flowers. And I'm very, I'm so excited about these. I'm gonna go home and hang one of these up right away. Uh, this is, this is very, very cool. Thank you so much. And thank you for Rory's gift. This is amazing. She's going to love this. She's going to freak out and treat it like her baby forever. And it's really soft. It's a felty material. So thank you so much. Um, that is so sweet. And these will go in my purse. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye. Hi. It is about four degrees in Mena, Arkansas. Uh, but I got mail. Um, I have three pieces in my mailbox. And the first one is from Budapest, Hungary. I get so excited about international mail. I get excited about all mail, but international mail makes me feel like some sort of really important person. Um, or like a spy. It's awesome. And the, um, I love looking at the stamps. Isn't that so cool? And I don't know what that says. El Sorbi Probit. That probably means priority mail. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, it's a Christmas card. And there's something else in there. But, and they're puppies. This is from Nims Bia in Budapest, Hungary. And she says, Dear Sarah, I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I'm one of your YouTube subscribers. I'm always watching your videos, uh, though I never comment. You're a very inspirational young lady. I wish you all the best next year. B. I don't know if it's B or Bia. I'm so sorry. Um, sorry about my English, but it isn't my first language. Her English is better than most of the people that live here in Arkansas that send me mail at work. So <laughs> be very proud of yourself, Bia, because that, I mean, actually there weren't any grammatical or spelling errors in that at all. And she sent me a bookmark with a, ki with a kitty on it. <laughs> That is so sweet. I love to read and I do use bookmarks um, because dog earring pages is should be a capital offense. Thank you so much, Bia, in Budapest, Hungary. Thank you. That is so sweet. I will use this. I also got this. From Allison in Cool, California, who has beautiful calligraphy handwriting. I wish I could do that. And she has sent me things before because I've said on air that, <laughs> air, I'm not on air, on video, that um, I didn't know if Cool, California was a real place or if she was making it up. And so she says, yes, Cool, California is a real place. Um, and it sounds fake, but I can look it up. Uh, and she asks, can I please link the video where I give my creamy ranch chicken um, with carrots over rice recipe? Now, a lot of you guys have asked for that, and I the only time I gave the recipe, though I've uh, people who have commented, I've given them a link to a the recipe that I based mine off of on allrecipes.com. If you're real anxious to try it, it is one of my favorite recipes. Um, it's got like a creamy mushroom sauce and carrots and ranch and chicken and you serve it over rice and it is my go-to because I can keep everything I need in the pantry for it. It is my go-to meal whenever I need comfort food or whenever there is a, uh, a a friend or a family member or coworker has like a loss in their family or they're going through a bad time. That's what I whip up and I bring to them as like a hospitality thing. So uh, the original recipe is called creamy ranch chicken and carrots and it's on all recipes but what I will do I promise you and and I did give the recipe because I can just make it off the top of my head in my first Q&A video but I understand how you guys would have a hard time finding that because it's not in the title or anything it was just the answer to one of the questions and so what I will do is I will make a video showing you how I make that and that will go up within the month okay promise and thank you very much Allison this is this is really cute I really wish I could do handwriting like you do handwriting <laughs> I also got a package this is from Jay Stew 
in Miz oh in Granite City, Illinois. And it is really taped up well. Oh. I need to break out my my stabby key also so I don't ruin my car key <laughs> oh my god I'm losing this fight Mind your packing skills, Jay Stu. Alrighty, we're it. There's a second layer of tape. Okay, that was easier. That was easier. Alright, and we have card. I injured myself. Uh, dear Sarah Budget Girl, hello and happy birthday! This is, thank you, it's my, my birthday's next week. Alright, uh, this gift is coming from a debt free subscriber who paid for a master's degree in Israel in cash. Wow. Anything can happen if I can do that. I'm trying to minimize and thought you'd like my old books. Oh, I love books. Uh, the other stuff was in my stocking that I won't be using. I thought rather than just getting rid of it, you might enjoy a random box of things. I love random boxes of things. Uh, we're budgeting for a move now, so I can't do too much, but I wanted to make you smile. I'm smiling. I uh, hope your birthday is lovely. Um, you're doing a great job, and I love seeing your progress. Keep up the good work. Debt-free is 110% worth the be effort. Best wishes, Julie S. Thank you, Julie. And I love the floral card. I'm a sucker for floils. I have a random box of stuff. Let's see what we get. Ooh, bubble wrap. This is already a seven-minute video. How long do you think I'm going to make you do this? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. First, we have a Christmas flameless LED candle from Pier One. Very pretty. Thank you. Ooh, big. Wait, wait, wait. No, I, I can't. It scares me. All right. <laughs> okay. That means the. Tabasco sauce. Oh, these are actually really cool. There are six little baby Tabasco sauces in here. This is awesome. I'm going to keep one of these in my desk and possibly in my purse, in my emergency kit, if I don't think I'll shatter it. We'll try it, and if I shatter it, I'm not allowed to have them in my purse anymore. Oh, and a push pop. Down for the push pop. And... Some Victoria's Secret bombshell gloss. Thanks. Ooh, beef. Turkey sausage. Yum. Thank you. And, ooh, gloves. Thank you. It's so cold here. I have a set of gloves. Uh, Beth gave me these really pretty ones. And they're nice and warm three years ago, but I am sometimes forgetting them. So thank you. I will put these in my car. Awesome. And huh. Smooth Away removes hair instantly and pain-free discovered in Europe. No pain, no chemicals, no razor burn. I think I've seen an infomercial for these. You basically like sandpaper the things off. Do you guys want me to do like a does it really work on this? Because I will. That would be kind of fun. Uh, tell me if you want me to do a does it really work on this. Let's see. Ooh! Goobers. Chocolate covered peanuts for those of you not in the States. 
I don't know if you'll have those other places. Ooh, a very pretty notebook, which will most definitely get used because I love notebooks and I use them all the time. Alright, rules of murder, from the tip of his black Hamburg to the crease in his Chevy trou trousers, he's the epitome of a stylish 1930s English gentleman. His only problem, the body he just discovered. Oh, that's awesome. Alright, Firefly Island, sometimes love takes you on an adventure completely off the map. Ooh. A plane death. In Appleseed Creek, the heart of Ohio's Amish country, life is not as serene as it seems. I bet it's not. Sweet Sanctuary. There, there's no short thing, but something about a drug-addled father. That sounds nice. With every breath. Government workers. Life is disrupted. Dare to Love Again. I think you like the romance. And I've never been a huge romance fan, but I will read these. Because I'll read anything. A Beauty So Rare. Oh! Uh, the story. The Bible is one continuing story of God and His people. That looks nice. I like Max Licato. And lastly, another journal. Thank you so much! This is so cool! Oh, and there's another notebook. I love these little baby notebooks. I keep one of these, or, well, let's be real, nine of these on my, on my person at all times. <laughs> Thank you so much, Julie. Oh, this is awesome. Best birthday gift. I love books. Thank you so much, you guys. This is, this is amazing. Y'all made my day. Bye. I got birthday mail. Alright, so it is... It's Tuesday, and I'm taking a little mental break from the office while I, um, because I've been padging the paper since 2.30, 3 a.m., and it's almost noon now, and I've figured out that whenever I leave the office for a few minutes, I'll suddenly remember, like, six things I have to get into the paper, so it's good to take a little mental break. So I went to the post office, and I got this really cool package, which has a really pretty handwriting on it and owl duct tape and owls on the back and I don't know if you guys know this, you probably do um, my alma mater's mascot was an owl, Mississippi University for Women so um, I love owls, <laughs> they're really cool and there's something in there but I'm gonna read the card first more owls, it says happy birthday, thanks and there's another owl it's a little like kind of mirror thing and this says, and she says, I love owls. I can tell. Me too. Um, have a wonderful 30th birthday. Thank you. I'm only 28 on Saturday, but thank you. Um, from Deedum75, um, have fun and stay warm. Thank you, Deedum75. I like my little owl sticker. I'm going to take him off and put him on something. Um, and, and don't age me though. I'm only, I'm only 28 on Saturday. Um, I, you might have misunderstood. I think in one of my videos I said I'll be debt free by 30. Um, but no, not 30 yet. Whew. Heaven help, right? And he also sent... This little scarf is the warmest ever. Best thing is it fits in a pocket when not needed. Okay. This is cool and it's got a little hole. So I guess you... It's purple. I like purple. I guess it's kind of a throat thing. You do that. Oh, that's kind of cute. It's like a little ascot. Thank you. That's so sweet. Oh, and a little owl car air freshener. That's so cute. I like them. It says friends make life more fun. And I'm loving the owl theme. 
and I got a coloring book. You know, I, I've kind of secretly been wanting one of these adult coloring book things. And then an owl bookmark. And this looks handmade. This is beautiful. Okay, I'm replacing my current bookmark with this immediately. Look how cute that is. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, this is so cool. Thank you. This is wonderful, Deedum. And I'm putting this in my car right now because it's probably needs a little freshening. Freshening. Uh. There we go. <laughs> One day I'm going to do like a um, composite video or something where... Uh, oh, that smells wonderful. I can't figure out what it smells like, but it smells really good. Kind of like flowers, I guess. Hang on. Okay. Yay! Now it's on my... There you go. With my pig fest pins. That smells really good. Thank you. I can't figure out what that smells like. It's it's not vanilla, it's not pine, but it's flowery. Very nice. Thank you so much. I'm having a good birthday already. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Bye. I just wanted to show you this real quick. I found this frame at a yard sale. Well, it was actually at a um, an art gallery sale the other day, and it was two dollars. And I knew I had to get it, but I didn't know what I was going to use it for. And I just figured it out. This is going to be kind of my bulletin board of budget girl mail. And so right now, and I'm going to rotate stuff right now. Right now I have the card from Christy and my little Van Gogh they sent. And then this sweet little Poppy Bella and my English Channel friend kids. And this really cool card I got sent a while ago. Um saying at any given moment you have the power to say this is not how my story is going to end. And another little kid picture. And this is a debt free -o meter somebody sent me. And this is a postcard from Germany. And so I'm going to rotate these out. But I'm going to get to see this now every single day as I'm walking by. And I'm going to rotate mail out, of course. It's just held on with little pieces of tape. And you guys are going to be with me in my home all the time and people are going to see you and ask about you and I especially want to keep pictures up. Anytime you guys want to see pictures of you or your dogs or your cats or your family, I'm going to stick those up here and I just get to see you and and think about you more all the time because uh, you guys are just a freaking amazing. So I'll see you soon. Bye.